All right, we have two parallel lines with a transversal. The transversal is the pink line. And how do you know they're parallel? Well, if there's no markings on there, you may see something that says A is parallel to B, and then you can just work with that. Parallel lines with a transversal, you may have already learned vocabulary around that. Today, we're just gonna look at the math. One of the things I know is that if this is 120 degrees, I can figure out what the other angle is, but I also know there's only two angles in this entire diagram. You're gonna to see a big angle and you're going to see a little angle. This is the little one. And they are just in different places. Like here's a big angle, but the one right across from it is the same size. Those are vertical angles. Here's another big angle and here's another big angle. That means all of these are going to be the same size. There's only two angles in this entire diagram. You have to do a quick little math calculation to figure out that this one is 60 degrees because these two are going to add up to 180 because that makes a straight line. So that means all the little angles in this diagram would also be 60 degrees. Okay, let's do some math with this. These two together, they add up to 180 degrees, so we just set up the math that way. 3x minus 6 plus 60 equals 180 degrees degrees. Now we're going to start working this and your algebra teacher is going to tell you you have to combine like terms. I'm going to show you you don't really need to do that as long as you don't break any rules. Whatever you do on one side you have to do on the other. So if there's a plus 60 here I'm going to subtract 60 from both sides. You need to be very careful with this because you don't want to take 60 away from the 6. You won't see the equal sign. One movement on this side, one movement on that side. These will cancel on this side and you bring down what you have left which is 3x minus 6 equals 180 minus 60 is 120. Now we add 6 to both sides then these guys cancel. 3x equals 126. Next move is to divide by 3x equals 42. What I did on this one is I kept the same numbers but I just moved things around a little bit so the relationship between these two angles all of a sudden is different than it was the last time. It's a whole different parallel universe <laughs> so now these things are related to each other differently. So the 3x minus 6 will equal the 60. So then we just set it up differently and we start solving. 3x equals 66 divide by 3, x equals 22 now. So I want to compare that because I want you to see that you're not going to set problems up exactly the same way. These are two different problems entirely. This one sets up as 3x minus 6 plus the 60 equals 180. And this one set up 3x minus 6 equaled that 60. In this diagram, and this is the point, when you see parallel lines in a transversal, if it's a simple diagram like this, which most of them will be in a geometry class, you have two options of things that are going to happen. These angles are either going to add up to 180 or they're going to be equal to each other. If I put this one over here, these two make a straight line. They still add up to 180. They're still going to add up to 180. It looks different than it was before, but it's still a large angle and a small angle. Putting them together will equal 180. This situation can be changed as long as you're putting them in the same size. So here's a 3x minus 6 in this tiny angle and the 60s in the small angle. They're not different so they're equal to each other. This one would be equal also if the 60 was down here. These two angles are equal to each other. 